from Professor Saborno Isaac Barry. Um, today, I'm your Professor Saborno Isaac Barry, and I may or may not be ta- talking in Bingwell for half an hour. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna be talking in Bingwell for half an hour. Also called letters, Professor. Right? Yeah, also called letters sometimes. How many letters are there in Hindi? Um, 50? No. Close? Is it close? Yeah, very close, but not quite. Would you expect it to be 26? Oh, 26 in English. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I expected. No, I expected it more because Hindi is a little, little more difficult than English, I guess, in my true, opinion. True. Professor, can you erase the other thing? Alright, uh, you start having an eraser with me. So, what is the first, alpha, uh, first alphabet? So, A for anar, A for um, then G, mm, oh, what the? So, I just want to show something uh, before we move on. So, uh, this, what letter do you predict this is? Uh, this is, uh, uh, this is, uh, oh, I know. this is, uh, um? Yes, this is, um. Uh, and may you guess what this is in English? Mango. Oh. Yep, it's Which, a mango. Yeah, that's easy. It's kind of a very dirty one, though. <laughs> so, sadly, we can't eat the mango. The mango is really tasty, delicious. So, bye-bye, mango. So, now we're going to look at the next letter, which is going to be looking, hmm, I don't know, I'd say a bit like this. So, this is for, like this is E for Illy, I'd say, this is the, uh, so this is something in English, guess what it is. Um, hmm, apple? No. Wrong. Pom, pom, pomegranate? Pomegranate? Wrong. That's a dog. P- oh, tim- timarant. Timarant. Timarant, yes. Timarant. It's a weird plant that I learned about yesterday. Timarant, yeah. That look like this. That's very sour. Very sour. Sour? Yeah. Okay, so... Then, this is the symbol, Ikunik, that's what it is, I'm only giving you the image, what is this, what is this? Uh, hand? Um, um, no, 
this is sugar cane? Sugar cane. It's more of oh. an ingredient to make sugar. It's an ingredient, not a food. And then, oh, for I believe it's like this. For well, oh no, I'm pretty bad at drawing the animal, so this one will not be illustrated. And finally, oh, for oh, what is yarn? So, one of our new students might be using yarn to crochet right now. Yes, <laughs> So, now, uh, and now we know every letter, an example for all of them, and we know the English translation for the examples. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for this. Professor, uh, th you want to know no, this day, Professor? Uh, no. Now, the Agnes Smith might be more of a memory game than a real Agnes Smith, but what is the uh, English translation for every uh, one of these? It might be more of a very easy memory game. Uh, so, Professor, I will tell you. Uh, anar, Anar is, uh, hmm, pomegranate. It's pomegranate. Okay. By the way, don't eat pomegranate. You can get very pink stains. Oh, okay. Um, um, is mango. I'll try all. Let's see how many I can get and how many the other student can get. Mango. Okay. Why, why aren't you calling them over? Uh, no, I'll try. Yeah. I'll try to see how many I can remember. All, all, all for anar. A for um. E for ili. E for ik. O for ulu. And O for un. Anar in English. for un. O for un. Anar in English um, is. Pomegranate. Am um, in English mango. Ali in English tamarind. Ik in English sour. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sa and the sour? What? What sour. is ik? Oh, sugar cane. Silver cane. Sorry, Professor. I, I missed it. I, 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 I messed you it up. Silver cane is sour? No, it's totally opposite. Yes, yeah, it's sweet. I, it's very sweet. Totally I can get all of them. No, no, first let me, me try. Ulu? Ulu is old. Ulu? Yeah. Yeah. What is old? I don't know. What is ulu? What is ulu? Ulu? Owl, yes. Really? Huh? Yeah. What is it? It's an owl. Oh, wow. It's a kind of a, a kind of a bird. Wow. Owl. Yeah, it's a nocturnal bird. Oh. It should be showing up somewhere right now. It's the bird that has, uh, the bird that's, uh, that's like... Like, imagine the... Sit upside down? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine oh. the dual lingo logo. That's oh, an owl. Okay. Un is knitting? Yarn. Yarn is knitting? Yarn. Yeah, yeah you use yarn to okay. knit and Now, crochet. now let's see how many he gets right. Okay. Wait, but he can just memorize your answer. Oh, no, no. He has to say the alphabet as well. Okay. Anar? No. A for anar. A for anar. And anar is going to be a pineapple. Oh, right? Not pineapple. Okay, apple? Not apple. Uh, Pomegranate. Pomegranate. That's what I mean. No. That's, that's what, what the new student That's what I mean. Number two. Student um, a for um. Um shanti. No, A for A um, um is um, mango. Mango. E for Ellie. Which okay. is gonna be uh, uh, E? No. Uh, it's still T. Uh, it's sour. T it's, yeah. it's sour. It's uh, like a T Tamarind. 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 I I had the word in my mouth. E for egg. No, so don't block. Egg is gonna be uh, is gonna be uh, a sugar cane. 
Ak is sugar cane, yes. Allo is no, sugar. it's not ak, it's ak. 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 E for ak. Allo, allo is a um, is a owl. Owl is like a bird. Uh, uh, yeah. Imagine the dual ring alone. And u okay. for un is ya. Uh, um, for um. Uh, but you didn't say in English. Yarn. Yarn is in Hindi. Knitting. Knitting, yes. No, no, yarn is in English. So what is it in Hindi? No, uh, un. Uh, un, yeah. Un is in Hindi, but knitting is also in Hindi, right? Uh, no. Knitting, knitting is not in Yeah, English. Oh, knitting is English, okay. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.